lasers. At first mention, you might think of Jedis with their lightsabers swinging around weapons of mass destruction. But in reality, they're used in all sorts of applications in the manufacturing industry. So let's get started. There are two main types of lasers, which are CO2 lasers and diode lasers, also known as neodymium doped yttrium aluminum garnet lasers. Yttrium aluminum garnet, in its solid state, is a synthetic crystalline material which was first used in a laser back in 1964. They both use different intensities of light to cut through different materials by vaporizing them in a concentrated area, leaving a pretty clean cut. CO2 and diode lasers, however very similar in their functionalities, have very sharp contrasts. For one thing, the sizes of their wavelengths differ. Wavelengths are measured between the crests in the sequence of waves. A regular CO2 laser usually has a wavelength close to 10,600 nanometers, while a diode laser produces an infrared light at a wavelength of around 1,500 nanometers. The smaller the size of the wavelength, the more energy it has. From this we can tell that diode lasers contain more energy, which is why their main purpose is for cutting through metal, but they're usually run at a continuously lower power than CO2 lasers. The reason they're able to cut through metal at such a low power is because different materials absorb different wavelengths of light. CO2 lasers were built in efforts to cut through weaker materials such as wood, plastic, and leather, so they run at a higher wavelength but use more power in short bursts of time. The light of a CO2 laser is produced when electricity runs through a tube filled with mixtures and gases such as carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen, and helium. The tube has mirrors on both ends, one which is fully reflective and the other which lets some light in, which guides the laser beam to the material. Any light produced by CO2 lasers is extremely powerful compared to visible light because of the mirrors that cause the light waves to build intensity. The light only passes through the partially reflective mirror when it becomes bright enough. This clip shows an example of a CO2 laser because of the gaseous tube directing the light towards the material and the wooden material that's being cut. 